Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm here again in the car um, doing a vlogging style video today but also more talking. It's like a hybrid style and it's going to be a video that has been so requested or has been requested so many times by people. I feel like this is probably one of if not the most requested video about living in Victoria and that is where are the best neighborhoods to live? Obviously this is gonna be different for everybody, so we're gonna do five neighborhoods that we would consider living in, um, places that have like apartments and houses and it aren't like, you know, gated communities that are super, super expensive and have like multi-million dollar mansions because that's not gonna help the majority of people. So we're gonna explore five different neighborhoods. Um, it's kind of a pretty miserable day today. The first neighborhood we're gonna go to is James Bay. Um, so James Bay is really close to downtown. It's like in between downtown and the ocean. So it's very um, popular. It's quite expensive to buy a house here, but there are a lot of apartments that you can rent. There's like, a, I feel like the renting kind of community is really big in James Bay. Um, so yeah, we're going to show you a couple of our favorite spots in the neighborhood and um, that's, that's, all, that's all I've got to say. than I thought it was going to be today. Whoa! November in Victoria. It's very... It's very fresh. But uh, yeah, this is the breakwater and like the oceanfront just on the edge of James Bay. James Bay actually has like a lot of heritage homes, like the one behind me, where you can't um, you can't knock them down, and you can only do certain like renovations to them. So it makes like the neighborhood really, really sweet. And there's like lots of them around, like very much like this one, where like very cottagey and quaint and cute. It's very, very common in James Bay. So you probably can't tell, but it is actually a different day. Um, we forgot about the nights getting longer and the days getting shorter and ran out of daylight. So we've had to uh, film the rest of this on another day. We were hoping that it was going to be sunny because last time it was really rainy and coldy. Co coldy? It's rainy and coldy. Rainy and cold. Um, and as you can see, t today is the same. I think Victoria is making up for it the summertime when it was really hot and dry for a really long time so we're gonna have to make do um but our next neighborhood that we really love is cook street village um I, well, I guess cook street village is kind of one part of it but the whole kind of area is called fairfield cook street village is kind of like one part of fairfield as i'm aware but cook street village is probably our favorite part of it fairfield is really nice too there's like 
lots of places to live there's like the quaint little um heritage homes and lots of apartments and things like that super close to downtown very walkable to the ocean walkable to beacon hill park it's literally right next to it and um, but cook street village i think is like kind of heart of the neighborhood and there's like loads going on on cook street there's like restaurants and bars and little coffee shops and your grocery stores and there's like a little food truck area there's literally everything that you could ever want so we really love it um we visit here all the time uh, it's definitely one of our favorite spots and it's just like such a unique spot in the city um i can't really think of anywhere else that's kind of similar to, to cook street um but yeah it's definitely like one of those places that i always recommend if anyone asks to look at is cook street village and fairfield because it's really really cool place to live when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright been here before I've done a video about that too and um, it's also a really lovely spot it's east of downtown it's a little bit north north of where we just were yes. north of where we just were um, I would say it's still walkable definitely bikeable and um, very like quaint cute little neighborhood lots of like young families here I'm not quite sure what the price range is around here I feel like most of these places that we're gonna show you are all very similar Victoria is quite expensive in comparison to many other places but not so expensive in comparison to like Vancouver or Toronto like I've told you before um but I'm just like talking about the kind of like neighborhood aspect of it what there is so there's like lots of little shops here there's like a theater um like a coffee shop restaurants like again the same with the heritage homes but there's also lots of new ones too apartments and things um yeah so Fernwood is definitely another place that I think that is a really great spot to live and um, that's close to Victoria.
that this weather is not really showing these neighborhoods in their best light, quite literally. Um, but I mean, we're in BC, so what, what are you expecting? Um, so yeah, that was Fernwood. As you can see, it's like super artsy, very like quaint and cute. Really love that neighborhood. Um, but the next one we're going to is Oak Bay. Oak Bay is known, is a little bit bigger, I think. It, yeah, I would say it's bigger. Like the main bit of it is bigger. There's a lot more like shops and restaurants and things like that. Um, it's a little bit more on the expensive side. There's lots of like really big houses and like very beautiful like kind of properties. Um, but there are like a lot of um, apartments and condos and little townhouses and things like that, which is why I have decided to include it. Um, it's definitely again like a place I would recommend. It's not as walkable to downtown, but it's next to the Oak Bay Marina. There's Willows Beach, which is like one of the nicest beaches I think in the area. Um, it has a, a big street of like loads of things to do. Uh, you can definitely bike downtown. Um, it's, it's not that close. It's not that far away at all. And yeah, it's definitely a really cool place to live, to visit. Um, as I say, it's probably on the more expensive side just because it's Oak Bay. Um, but it is very beautiful, which is why, which is why I'm including it. So uh, yeah, this, this one is Oak Bay. And in the middle of that, my camera ran out of battery, of course. Um, it's I, the ZV-1, the Sony ZV-1, it's the camera that I usually use, for, use, usually use for vlogging, is a really good little camera, but the battery life is terrible. So I really need to get a second battery. It happens to me all the time. Um, but yeah, that was Oak Bay. And for our final kind of place to live recommendation is an obvious one, but I think it's one that people tend to not always think about uh, because there's so many like outlying places um, and that would be downtown now downtown might not sound like the most exciting place to live or maybe it does I don't know for me I was always like I don't live downtown 
um, because I like nature and things like that. And if you are like that and you're trying to avoid downtown for that reason, I would say check it out because Victoria's downtown isn't like a Toronto downtown or like it isn't like a concrete jungle. There's lots going on. There's a lot of really nice areas around. There's a lots of apartments and condos. So if you're into that kind of condo apartment living, um, downtown is a really great space to be. There's a lots of buildings, there's stuff going up all the time. There is Government Street, there's lots of, you know, places to shop and eat. Obviously it's really close to downtown because it is downtown. Um, and it's also really close to the ocean. It's really close to the museum and the parliament buildings. It's really close to James Bay and um, Fairfield and Fernwood. And it's pretty much obviously the heart and soul of Victoria because it's the downtown of Victoria. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add some images or some footage that I already have from downtown because um, today is really not a good day to be filming because the weather is atrocious and uh, it probably is not the best time to go downtown. Um, and also I feel like if you're looking for places to live in Victoria, you've probably seen a million pictures and videos about downtown. So you're probably super familiar with it, but I wanted to add it in as like a bonus place because um, it is a place that I would recommend, uh, even not as a city person, I would recommend downtown. And obviously it is in the center of everything, so it's definitely a good spot to be. If you like that kind of lifestyle, that kind of condo, apartment lifestyle, um, downtown is a good spot. <laughs> this video this has been highly requested for for ages and ages um obviously i haven't covered every single place that you could live in victoria these are just kind of like the top five that kind of we would recommend first um obviously like if you want to live outside of victoria there's loads of other places there's langford for example which is a really cool spot to be um it's growing really really fast so if you want to still be close to victoria but perhaps you don't want to kind of pay victoria prices langford is definitely a great place to be um, Esquimalt is another place that we didn't cover, but a lot of people go to Esquimalt. It's kind of growing very fast and definitely a popular place to be. Um, there's Oaklands, there is obviously Saanich of the peninsula, um, Saanichton, places like that. So there is a lot more places. Um, if you are interested in me doing a video like that, let me know in the comments below. If I get enough interest, then I can always do like a video showcasing other areas around Victoria that aren't necessarily Victoria or the Greater Victoria area. So yeah, let me know. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notify bell button because uh, I post videos every single week. And if you do that, it obviously tells you when I post a video so you'll know, but also it helps push this video to others that might also be interested and that would be awesome. So if you want to do that, that would be cool. Until my next one, I hope you have the most wonderful day and I'll see you again very soon. Stay the same Always stay the same